What's going on YouTube? Hope you guys are having a great day. I want to do a quick log before the 5k. Even though the 5k just started, we won round of one, so props to that. But I wanted to do a YouTube video I didn't want to miss today. And I want to talk about pretty much about Dota and the tournament and everything about it. You know, it's crazy. It's insane to think about that there was an $18 million prize pool tournament. I mean, who, who, how can you not be excited about that, right? I mean, we're not playing for it, which sucks, but... The fact that there's such a high amount, and it is because of crowdfunding, whatever, but still, you know, it's insane, it's incredible, I mean, it's just, it's amazing, it's mind-blowing. And the fact that I used to play Dota is also a crazy part too, you know. I actually used, used to be a really Dota freak, a Dota nerd, you know, that game was so fun. And kind of a little history about me is, I've always loved first-person shooters, right? I'm, I'm, I love Halo, I love Gears of War, well, Gears of War is third person, but I love Halo, I love Call of Duty, I love all those games. They're so fun, I love the competition, but I used to love playing computer games as well. And I would play, let's see, the main games I would play was Diablo 2 and World, no, not World of Warcraft, Warcraft 3, Frozen the Throne, which is basically a strategy game, kind of like Starcraft, but there was many games involved. And some of those mini games consist of a game type like Dota. So Dota came from a, a mini game that someone created, and that's kind of where it all started, right? And at first, you know, I love Warcraft 3. I beat the whole campaign, whatever. It was so fun. I, I loved just playing a game. I was addicted. And after that, you know, I got into the mini games. A lot of my friends were playing it, and it was extremely fun playing like footsies, playing all these mini games that the people create. It's crazy fun. And Dota was one of them. And I started playing Dota and noticed that it was kind of like a competition. People actually played it, not really professionally back then, professionally, but you know, it was still pretty big. It was a competition, there was like a ranking system, and it was pretty, it was crazy, right? And that was my first time ever going hard in it. And the more I played it, the better I became. And to think about that now it's this big, the fact that if I just grinded that game, if I put in the time, if I would have stayed in that game and just played and had fun and got better and better, I would be playing probably for a million dollars of fuck tournament, you know, it's, it's, it's just crazy to think about, like, I was actually pretty damn good at this game, like, like, pretty damn good. For example, I, I, I don't know the best way to explain it, but there was a ranking system, right, and it's like, kind of like ELO and, and League of Legends. I think I was like 1800, 1900, 1800, 1900 points on my system and every time you lose, you lose points. Every time you win, you win points. If you beat people who are very good, you gain a little bit more points. For example, if you have a sucky team, you beat a team with, a bigger, with higher points, you know, you gain more points. Well, I was 1800, 1900, something like that. I think I, was, I'm a, I hit 2000 once and that's pretty incredible. Not many players, like the top players in the game that were playing at the time were like 2000 and higher. So I was definitely a very, very good player. I was addicted. Mind you, I would grind hard. I would come back from school at like five o'clock. No, not at four o'clock, three, four o'clock. I would take a nap, whatever, because I, I was so damn tired from playing all day the other day. But then when I would come home, I'd be like, I would take like a 10 minute nap. I'd be like, fuck it. Hop on my computer and I would play from like four o'clock to like four o'clock in the morning, literally all day on my computer playing that damn game. It was that good, it was that addicted. And I'm starting to play a little bit again for now. It's just, it's just fun to play, but the fact to think about that there was a $18 million attorney and it grew, it has grown that much, you know, it's, it's crazy to think about, man. But, you know, I've always been a pretty uh, computer fiend, game freak, I don't know what you want to call me. You know, I've always loved RPG games or games that are really competitive. Like for example, I like playing League of Legends. I like playing Diablo 3, even though Diablo 3 isn't that good compared to Diablo 2, because Diablo 2 is PvP, everything made it so much more fun. But I like Diablo 2, I like World of, well, I don't, haven't really played World of Warcraft, because I can't say that. But I like Warcraft, like, I like all those games, like Starcraft, I actually got pretty good at Starcraft at one point, but I stopped playing it. Because, you know, Call of Duty is my life now, this is what I put all my time into, this is what I grind, this is where I put all my work into. And, man, like, in my head, there's just times where I'm like, damn, I should have played Dota, damn, should I switch over now? And obviously it would be stupid, right? I It would take me a long time to get good, probably like half a year. And even then, I have no status in the Dota, in the Dota scene, you know. I, people probably won't even play with me. I'll, I'll, I'll have to like build my way up. It's no point. I'm already in Call of Duty. I love this game. I love, I love everything about it as well. And I'm already at the top, so I might as well just stay here, grind, and hopefully it all pays off. Hopefully next year, with Black Ops 3, you know, some big tournaments start happening because we need that, man. I need that. I want to 
Man, I want so much, guys. I work every day for it. That's all I gotta say. Like, you gotta, you gotta work hard for what you want. You can't... Uh, like, uh, what I always like to say to you guys, like, giving up is never the answer. You want something, giving up or slowing down, it's just gonna, it's, you're never gonna reach your goal, right? For example, if I wanna, if I wanna lose X amount of weight, and let's say I do it for a week straight, and I lost three pounds, or two, three pounds, and then the next week, I'm like, I got tired, I feel like my results are coming, and I have to stop. Well, where does that leave me? Back to, back to score one, right? I might even gain weight, so... The whole thing is just never give up, keep pushing yourself. Sometimes you can be demoralized, sometimes you can be sad, sometimes you can be mad, sometimes you feel like you're not getting anywhere. But in the end of the day, giving up is not gonna take you anywhere at all. So you might as well put effort, as long as you try, that's all that matters. And one day you will get there eventually. So yeah guys, just a quick vlog saying, you know, I should have kept playing Dota and talking a little bit about my history and about me a little bit. Uh, you know, I gotta play this 5k now. Our match is up. But I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This has been your boy Apathy, and I'm out.